at another flashpoint in Florida over race and education. The State Board of Education just approved new rules for how to teach black history in public schools. And according to The Washington Post, the new standards say students should learn that enslaved people develop skills that, quote, could be applied for their personal benefit. And that during lessons about mob violence against black residents, teachers should include acts of violence perpetrated against and by African-Americans. This is an abomination. The Florida State Board of Education just approved new standards for the teaching of African-American history. And I certainly use the term standards very very loosely. Andrew, your organization represents 150,000 teachers and, and also other education professionals. What are you hearing from them now with these standards passed? We've been hearing for a while from them because last year, again, Florida changed, uh, passed the Stop Woke Act. They also had a civics training that they did for teachers. And we were hearing from them about how it seemed like they were trying to rewrite the history, leave things out, talking about how the founding fathers in our country uh, fought against slavery, but not talking about how they own slaves. The Florida Board of Education approved a new set of standards for how black history should be taught in the state's public school system. Now, of course, their new standards has sparked a lot of controversy as well it should, especially among advocates and activists and educators who actually understand and teach the history of African-American people in this country. Do not understand, totally do not understand why DeSantis is on this full-fledged crusade to lie in schools, to ensure that the students of the great state of Florida do not have the education that they need to be critical thinkers. Uh, teachers are very concerned with what's happening and how we're narrowing the curriculum. And they're also very concerned that many of our students are no longer seeing themselves in their learning. And that is really, really important for kids to learn. It's one of those foundational skills that, that one of those foundational needs that kids have, which is to see themselves in their learning and how their learning connects to them. So when you say don't teach current events, uh, when you say uh, limit what kids can see and learn, uh, that's a real problem for educators. Why is this dude so fixated on the history of black people? Inquiring minds want to know. I mean, that's what our standards for, for black history are. It's just cut and dried history. You learn all the basics, you learn about the great figures, and you know, I view it as American history. I don't view it as separate history. According to reporting by CNN, the new standards come after the state passed new legislation under Governor Ron DeSantis that bars instruction in schools that suggests anyone is privileged or oppressed based on the race or the color of their skin. This governor has taken cultural wars to a whole new level, even so much so that he wants the children of his state to be lied to about how this country was founded and the bigotry and anti-blackness, what was done to indigenous people in terms of the stealing of their land because they can't handle the truth. You know, the person who can't handle the truth is really Governor Ron DeSantis. This is an example of absolute power corrupting absolutely. And unfortunately, he has a role over state school board that will do anything this man says to do even to the detriment of the state. And let's now explore an example of what they want taught to middle school students in Florida. The new standards require instruction for middle school students to include, quote, how slaves develop skills, which in some instances could be applied for their own personal benefit, end quote. Are you kidding me? To be an enslaved person in chattel slavery, the type of slavery that took place in these United States of America, in the Americas, is the worst type of slavery known to humankind because it is based on capitalism. The pure capitalism, pure greed off of the backs, the minds, and the bodies of black people. And for this dude and this school board to sit here and and, and, and make it very clear that they don't want students to know the truth about history really is an abomination. And everybody in this country should be outraged by what this governor is doing, what this school board is doing. Governor Ron DeSantis is leading a crusade of lies 
There is no two ways about this. And the great state of Florida should be ashamed, this nation should be ashamed that this governor really is the reincarnation of segregation this governor has gone by. One of the things that we can do right now is to ensure that this man never ever becomes president of the United States of America. There is something cruel and untoward about what he is doing and why he has declared war on the history of African-American people. The African-American history is America's history and everybody should be concerned about that. And this is not, not about good people on both sides here. There was only one side and that is Africans and their descendants were kept enslaved in this country for decades, for generations. And the reason why this nation is a hegemonic nation to this day is because what it did to destroy black bodies, black minds, black hearts, and black souls. And that truth should be taught in every institution of education in this country and how we make things better in this country based on that history, not lies.